Dummy burns my house. Do not worry, I'll save you. Let's do this. Mint leaf, why did you do that? Oh well, anyway. You were supposed to get trolled. Why is it so empty here? I don't know. Anyway, please don't shoot me. Have you subscribed to my channel? I don't think so. Yeah, guys, remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more awesome videos like this. Whoa, how did you look behind you? Bye. Not again. <laughs> Don't destroy my ketchup. Wait, ketchup? Why do you have like a hundred ketchup bottles? I love ketchup. That's why I troll mint leaf. He likes mayo instead. You burned his house because of ketchup? Wait, I like the video and subscribe. Well, I guess it's fine now, but everybody watching has to like and subscribe. Guys, please like and sub now. I don't want to get destroyed. Very good. I'll go talk to Mint Leaf to see if I can convince him to like ketchup. Hey, uh, it's okay to have your own opinion, but ketchup is definitely better than mayonnaise. But Ask the viewers. I bet they like me more. Boom. Huh? Well, what even is this house? Nice hello. What are your last words? Yeah. Press the red button for free candy. Okay. <laughs> Credits to Pukas for the helicopter mechanism. Start by placing down three rods on top of each other. Now I'm going to make a simple body because the one I had in the video is way too complex. But you can make it however you want. So I'll place down a plastic block. Make it six studs wide and eight studs long. Place a block in this corner. Make it one stud thin, four studs long and six studs tall. Do the same for the other corner before placing a block here to fill in this gap. Put a legacy wheel pointing upwards over here like this and make sure there is a little bit of distance as you can see right here. And now just fill this gap over here. Now for the front, we will make some glass walls, stretch them up and fill this little gap here with some more glass. Let's make a nice tail. So at the back, place a block right here and scale it to 10 studs. Place one more block at the end and then another legacy wheel like this before making this block one stud thin. Now on the wheels, just make some propellers or fans or whatever you like to call them. Now, let's make the actual mechanism. So on the tail of the heli, I will place a block and then I'll make it very tall. It doesn't matter how tall, really. And on top of it, I will make a platform that is larger than the helicopter. So I'll place a block, make it 22 studs wide like this and 20 studs long. On each corner, I will place down a balloon block and scale it to the side once. Now on the helicopter, I'll place down a switch to be able to turn on the flying mechanism. And inside the cockpit, I'll place down a driver's seat. As you can see, the driver's seat is bound to the wheel up here and that's not good. So to unbind them, just click on the seat and then click on the wheel. And then just put a boat motor right here. We're almost there. Place a heavy block on the underside of the helicopter and make it a bit bigger. Now that's a bit bigger. With the screwdriver tool, select this whole weird platform thing, turn off the collision and set the transparency to 100%. And finally do the same thing for the big heavy block thing. Now you'll need to save the build, delete the rods, select all with your screwdriver and turn off anchored. Get into the helicopter, uh oh. 
Yeah, how do I get into this thing? Select this and turn off the collision. There we go. Turn on the switch to start flying. Whoa, it's as easy as driving a boat. Well, maybe because I'm using a boat motor. If you need any help, make sure to ask me down in the comments and I'll respond ASAP. Also, if you've gotten this far, you probably enjoyed the video, I hope. So consider leaving a like and subscribing if you want even more stuff like this. Thanks for watching and have a good one.